This is the Skeptic Razor, the art of war. We're there with you. Outside broadcast live from June Paradise School Beach Resort and Spa, Runaway Basin. And this is the Media Land Emancipation Jubilee. You know, so this has been going on. Well, it's 18 years. This is going to be the 19th year. And IRFM has been there from the beginning. So we're going to browse around to the people them gathering in. Um, some dignitaries. Some, oh, well, it looks like everybody has a dignitary. Everybody has a suit. <laughs> I feel out of place. <laughs> but it is the media launch. It is the launch of this anniversary that you know that emancipation is the 1st of August. And you know this jubilee starts on the 31st of July going into the 1st of August. And this is how it has been for 19 years. This is the 19th year. And as we said before, IRFM is on location here with the Stepping Razor. We have a lot of ones here from IRFM. We say, Shamara, steer over for me like she want to tell me what to do. And kind and generous Tracy and Tony over there so I don't know what to do it but she's just here Cuban they can walk up and long in a green shirt and who else is here Bridget? eh Ricky ah Ricky there in my eye Errol there wait that's some of the people they have to step in with that you know what I mean that the students some of the people that are there in the studio Believe you me, I will have a man with him lady hang up cloth over me the whole time. I believe Errol, are you hang up the cloth over me the whole time? Red, white, blue, white, it look like rainbow colors. Believe you me. <laughs> it look it look like a rainbow colors I'm gonna show up here today. Anyway, we are broadcasting live and we're supposed to be interviewing a, a host of people here, you know, as, as it relates to this emancipation celebration. We know that over the years, um, I remember the emancipation celebration where we do with, with Cabo, where they do it um, a years ago that too, you know. And also, when they had the, the return of the bones of our ancestor, ancestor who was buried there, uh, RFM was involved with that move. Was involved with that move. So RFM have a long, long um, partnership with the, the the organizers of the, uh, the, 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 the 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 organizers of this thing. We want to give special thanks to um Ricardo Powell, Errington Roberts, Tracy and Morris. Sham uh, we don't call them name already. Uh, oh Shamara I'll let me know upon this now. <laughs> so is the Jamaica National Heritage Church? putting it on and I refer his partner in with the Jamaica National Inherited Church and as we know that this thing will be taking place in St. Anne here as it usually is at Civil Great House so stick around with there with you and we are continuing the journey musically and then we're, we're, you know say them about music we say uh, other a uh, GIS that over there so GIS over there so we say uh, so we say drummers we see chicken and thing over there, so we want to take a break and come forward. Yes, we are here at Jewels. Yes, Jewels is the place where the, 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 the launch of the Civil Emancipation Jubilee taking place. This year is the 19th year, and it's happening on the July the 31st. We want to tell you that this hour between two and three is sponsored by Flo. Brought to you by Flo Triple Play. Sign up today and see it. Outside broadcast, live. So you are gonna know. We you know say so hear some drums in the background, them call themselves children of the drums, and they will be playing more music than what I will be playing today. You understand? So we have a lady here, all dressed in brown and thing, well suited out and thing. I tell you. I don't know if I should have called her the brown lady. The black lady. The black lady. Okay, all right. Uh, she name is Joan Sigears. Yes. Sigears. Okay. Heritage Event Consultant, Jamaica National Heritage Trust, and past manager of Civil Heritage Park. Yes. Why pass? Why pass? Well, I left and went abroad. 
I went to foreign and came back. You mean Cuba? <laughs> no, no. I was in Florida for a while. Oh, Florida is the, the next day for Florida. It's foreign. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you can't stay away because you love your country. Of course. All of right. Course. So All I right. came back. Okay, yeah. so you came back and take over the reins again of Civil Rights Trust. No, Island. I am but just asked to help with the, the event. The Jubilee thing. Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Yes. All right. So, we see that, actually, this is a launch, almost like a launch. Yes. IRFM is involved. We have been always involved. Always. All right. So, tell me exactly why this auspicious uh, <laughs> grand occasion. Well, um, I will start out by saying this is the only time of the year in Jamaica that a time is set aside to respect and to pay tribute to our African ancestors. Yes. I don't know of any more yes. that is officially known as a national event. Yes. Now, we started, and as you know, IRFM was with us all along yes. and knew that we started with the four African remains that were found on the pro- property. We carried it back to um, Ghana. Oh, right, yes. and it went back to which is the mini and all that. Yes, yes. Now, since then, we decided that, okay, fine, because, you know, we took the African remains from the back of the house, which yes. they were a slave, yes. put them at the front to demonstrate to everybody the world mm. that that is no longer the Africans can be at the front of a great house. Okay. So after that, we decided let us continue this with a tribute every year for the Africans, not only for those. We started it out by doing it for the Africans that were on civil plantation. Yeah. Um, but over the years, we include all Jamaican African. Um, remains. Then afterwards, we start Unite with the United Nations team each year. So we are expanding it. Have they, have they ever excavated any more thing of I mean, like the African importance of, yeah, well, anything there, else there, that's ever been there, there are other um, there are other artifacts that were found on there. On the same premises. On the same premises over by, you know, there's a Spanish side. Yes, yes. But I think Mr. Gray will tell you about that later, the archaeologist. Yeah, what was there, was there a time when civil was the the capital of Jamaica? Yes, civil yeah. was the first capital, capital of, of Jamaica. Jamaica. Yes, yes. And then it was relocated to Spanish town. So, yes, San Diego de la Vega. So this is a yeah. very, the first sugar mill it was in se- it's a was civil. civil. Yes, I remember that. I remember the first that. place that African came was, was in civil. civil. Yes. Okay. So it's okay. the first of a lot of things, you know. Yes. Saint yeah. Anne seemed to have a a direct connection. Marcus Garvey. Yes. Uh, Bob Marley. Yeah, Berlin Spear. Oh, know, yeah. 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 Only for ones actually came from this part. We're dynamic. What can I say? <laughs> All right. So tell me what you're from, Saint Anne. I was adopted. I'm really you from Manchester. They know you're going like you come from Santa. We are talking about dynamic. We are dynamic. You have to come think for you. Know? <laughs> Listen, I was adopted officially. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, tell me something. What is going to happen this year that never happened last year? All right, what we're doing, we have listened to the, our patrons. We used to do a cultural show. Depicting every aspect of the African, African culture. culture. Yeah. No, we were still doing it, but we were seeping in with the other Jamaican tradition. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. want to bring it back to Africa. To, to Africa yeah, and yeah. Africans. Yeah. And I know with the help of yourself and Kabu, which is Andrea Williams. Yeah. Kabu. Yeah. All right. I ask her what you want me to call her. She said Kabu. So it's yeah, Kabu. Kabu yeah. I have to go beg you an African name as well. You have to beg me African name. <laughs> I got some research, man. <laughs> All right, I promise you I will do that. I will do that. All right. All right. So you say the, the difference we're talking about the different carrying it back to its African roots, yes, rather than African retention. Definitely, we want okay. to get back there. We want when people approach civil. Yeah. On the night of the event, yes. I, I stop calling it a show because it should not be a show. No, definitely, it's a tribute. They should be so engrossed in the African cultures that they should feel like they are there. Uh, yes, yes, you know. So you guys set up touch pots and that's what all we these want things to do this on the premises. Year. We want to go, tent, plastic tent. We might have some tent because, as I said, we're um, not going to get it back to that stage in year. one year. Yes, yes. So we might still have some tent, but we might camouflage it with, we are thinking of camouflaging it with the touch. Yes, yes, yes. And we want to make a 
And you remember, I don't know if you know, but Cabo would know, when we used to have the drumming groups all over the site, tra- strategically placed, yes, so yes. that people can come in and learn how to do the dinky mini, the broken yes, 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 We're yes. doing that this year. All right, you see, what, what, what I'm trying to do, when I say, going back to the African roots and really African retentions, yes. I find that most of these celebrations deal with the African retentions. I mean, yes. when the Africans came here, they create a certain culture mm-hmm. that had a link with Africa, but not necessarily coming from Africa, but That's because true. they found themselves in that situation, mm-hmm. they develop certain cultural expression. Mm-hmm. So what I find with these things is that we almost celebrate African retention rather than African culture. Definitely. And so, we want to get back there. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, I know you say you want yeah. to get back there, but are you talking about Dinky Mini and Kun? Well, are you talking about Dukunu and all these things? It's African retention. Yeah, like, I know, but. Like Limbo and all them. But remember like. what I said at the beginning. There. Yes, yes. By your help and Kabu. Like you're going to send to some, <laughs> some attentive. Right. Chief and, and we want to link with some of those African countries. Yeah, definitely. And, and kind of get some item, cultural things from there, interchange. Because yeah. at one year, I was trying to get, as a matter of fact, I'd spoken to a Ghanaian group um, from Ghana itself. Yes. yes. But um, we never quite get them here. You know, financial constraints. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We are hoping that we'll get, you know, what I don't understand, though, is when we come to the... African retention, the African culture, and trying to uphold it and 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 and, and embrace it. We do not tend to get that level of sponsorship as other oh, yeah? get. But we are hoping and we are appealing now to the sponsors. Not the sponsors, because we have people who are sponsoring. But we are appealing to those others that sponsor sports. Or, yeah, I think or, I think Bob Jones have a knock. So when yes, she comes, yes, yes, I yes. will talk to her. But yes. I think she, as a cultural minister, have a knack to get definitely. these things definitely. running. So definitely. With, with, with the help of she, right. maybe she can integrate a lot of the, the private sector. And I think she will, you know. Yes, I think she yes, will. Yes, I believe yes, that. Yes, yes. I can feel that in my boats. <laughs> and you know me have African boats. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, you have to be you have to be like where you have your boats. You like your boats. You like where you have your boats. You like your boats. Believe you me. <laughs> All right. So it is the 31st. Yes. It starts at 6.30. Um, we're starting at 6 with six. drumming between 6 like and 8. Like what you're hearing now. Right. Yes. And we want to have that atmosphere where you have diff- uh, We have about eight drumming groups. And it's right scattered all over all the great house. All over the, the property. Yes. 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 So that people can move from one to the other and look at what they do, see yes. the tradition, ask questions if they yes. want. Yes. Yes. Kind of yes. like an educational thing, but have fun while you're doing it. You want to have speakers there? Speaking, you mean like Cabo, you know? Well, <laughs> we, 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 we will have speakers, but not a lot. We'll find out yeah, that, no, not a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what we find out from the patrons each year that they don't like the lots of talk. It's boring. They, boring. So, right. Somebody speak at them can be boring. Yeah, they they tell them a politician. Right, right, right. <laughs> what they say is, we'll come to hear music. music we'll come, come to, to eat, hear yeah, the culture. So, we'll come yeah. to eat. We don't want to hear no talk right now. So we are listening to them. Goes. I wonder yeah. if I go there, yeah. 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 I, 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 I put my mouth in the water. Try you know. come, man. Try. I know that the coming, you know, it's, 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 I don't want to come. It's, 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 like, it's, it's like I was trying to figure out if the music itself yes. could be more African oriented, too. Mm-hmm. You know? We'll and talk to you. Let's, let's talk. Right, let's talk. Do something about that. I'd, you know? love, I'd love that. All right, we're going to take a break and come yeah. forward. All right. Yes. Right. Yes, we are coming to you live from Joel. Paradise Cove Beach Resort and Spa Runaway Bay Saint Anne. And this is the media launch for the Emancipation Jubilee. This is the 19th year. We want to also tell you that the the sponsors of this hour between two and three is brought to you by Flow. Triple play. Sign up today and save. So we were just speaking to um the Seagulls Heritage Event. Jamaica National Heritage Trust. She was the past manager at Civil Heritage Park and she run around Florida and realized that too much things are going over there so she have to run come back. I will give thanks that she come back because she can play a great and very great part in this thing. We want you to know also that there is a lot of ones here um, that we are going to I think the main speaker is the Ministress of Culture 
Youth Development and Gender, Senator Babsy Grange. We want to speak to her. Yes, she is the one who is going to put a cap on things. I think she's a, she's a guest speaker, really. She's the, the, the guest speaker for this event. We also want to give you a little run-up of um, <laughs> the, the program that, uh, well, most people are interested in the program. What the program is, um, Honorable Norma, Wat- Norma Walters, Custos, Rotolorum, Rotolorum, upset, and, you know, the people are no, yeah, me don't stop here, yeah, correct me. Correct me, man. You know, you're not correct me. You have, you have to... All right. Rotolorum. What is the word? Rotorum. All right, look on the spelling. When I spell things, they're wrong and I get people, you know. Yes. Honorable Shine Robinson. I them spell it wrong, all right. Honorable. <laughs> Shayne Robinson, MP, Minister of Labor and Social Security, Councillor Delroy Redway, Deputy Mayor, St. Lance Bay, Mr. Richard McCarthy, CEO, Wellspring Investments Limited, Ms. Barbara Burton, General Manager of Jewel Paradise Group, which part of the interview are you? Which part should they? Go look Friday for me. Do. Shamara. And the main address, as we say, will be given by Honorable Olivia. Babsy Grange, we call her Minister of Culture, Gender, and Entertainment and Sport. And the entertainment is provided by Children of the Drums. And IRFM is the sole sponsor of Jubilee 90. Why well, don't tell you about some of the artists them, and the performers them, that will be there? And we must remember that this is the 31st, which go into the 1st of August at Civil Heritage Park, that is in St. Anne, starts at 6 o'clock. We want to tell you that Louis Culture, is on there, George Banton, Fab Five, my brethren them, yes, um, Kingston Drummers, Children of the Drum, at the same Children of the Drum going to be down to our place, when I say our place, let me have any party in the RFA, dog at the car park, yes. Children of the is them come from Canada or something? No, no not no, them, no, no. you know about group of ones where I come from? Yeah. It's a different group. Huh? Ubuntu. Ubuntu, okay. What some children do? Yeah. Ubuntu is some children, okay. Why well, would it sound nice and harmonize with one another? And two others say yes, right away. <laughs> we have big of Shavara and Tracy. That's all. Uh, yes, we were talking about Port Morant, Kumina Group, yes. Um, Carry Folk Singers, Kokodo, oh gosh, man. You know, I have to play Kokodo. I have to play Kokodo. Trust me. Before we left, we have to play Kokodo for the radio. Yeah. Yes, and it's going to be, as we say, you know, them usually tell you to bring your, 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 your mug. Miss, Miss, Joan, Joan, just a word here. Yes, you still telling the people to bring their mug and thing? No mug, no tea. No mug, no tea. Bring it's your... sound like you said they must bring no mug. <laughs> no, bring your mug. We're not serving in any style of food. Hey, them young people are going to want to have a mug. In a mail method. As a matter of fact, we'll have a lot on, on the it night. It's cheap. It cheap. Mm. So we will have a lot on the night on sale. But we, we are asking you, if you have them at home, bring them. We have a section where we're going to give a prize to the oldest in a mail mug. Yes, yes, you can tell a story about what it is. Yeah, them. man. Cool. <laughs> they, 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 they're going to have um, chimito. You know, I got Jimmy. Some got Jimmy. Tell, you used to have the match, you know. You have the tell, goblet. Tell, tell you the truth. Some people care some big something there. It uh, looks like Jimmy. <laughs> no, but you remember, say so them have Jimmy. Yes, in, in a mill. The whole of them match, you know. Yes. The goblet. Yes. And the, and the basin. The mm-hmm. basin, so you put it by your washstand. Definitely. Yeah. So then come with some big mug. Yeah, like Jimmy. So you wonder. People used to drink water them big something. Oh, you mean what? Well, you ask my brother when you're chanting chocolate tea. Well, we're watching to see which one you carry and yeah. you bring it the night. No, you know, I don't tell you the difference between my chimney and my book. Well, come with him and tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All so, right. yeah, it, yeah. It, it's a wonderful thing for really revive them something there still and make the make young people like Shamara and Tony Tony. Tony do have a key when they mug, you know. She do have a clue. She think a styrofoam in a, in a different kind of plastic. When they say mug, but yes, it, it, it's a wonderful thing. So we want the people them to remember the date, the thirty first, 
the 31st of July, going into the 1st. This is the stepping razor, the art of war. We're there with you. <laughs> um, this is the stepping razor, the art of war, coming to you live from Joel Paradise School Beach Resort and Spa, Runway Basin, and this is a media launch, and we're just talking to the general manager and she run gone, you know, where she gone? Man, she make me get up and run her down, you know. Good afternoon. Um, but for, we want to remind you. Good know, afternoon. Yeah, the hour between two and three is brought to you by Flow and Triple Play. Sign up today and save. Okay, so we're talking to Miss Barbara Burton, or Mrs. Miss. Yes, sir. You missed something. Not missing a thing. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> okay, general manager. How long have you been the general manager? Two years and nine months. Okay. When we first took over this property. So where you was before? I was at Jewel Runaway Bay, which is our sister property, family property next door. This was Edenism one time? Uh, many, many years ago, but yeah. it has changed hands um, since... The east side of you also run it, right? Edenism. Correct, and yeah. then it was it was, um, it was was managed by the Cameron thereafter. Mm -hmm. So it has gone through a number of name changes and has changed hands, so... Yeah. So what is the difference with this hotel, apart from it's hard to find it, you know, look on the sign. Is it? Hard? The, you know, well, the flag, the first time I come here, two of the make me come here, it's about three or four times we reach down the FDR, I come up back to find out and say, oh, that's how it is. So, that's because we are on the secluded side of yeah. Paradise, hence yeah. Jewel Paradise Cove. We are... An all inclusive, okay. richly all inclusive, adults only yes, property. Two and where are they now? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what is the all inclusive, adult only. Tell me, you're going to see some little more, see some toys, I walk up and I'll make it there. Not you. at all, not at all. You no, have no. A naked beach. Remember, no, no. He don't have a don't have naked beach. Please do not confuse us, sir. No, wait there. We're is there, is there, we can explain something to you because I spent years in a hotel. Right? In a Negril, before it was Negril Beach Village. After it became Negril Beach Village, and before it was Negril Beach Village, they used to have a section of the beach that they call it New Beach. Correct. They, you know, have that again in a no hotel in a Jamaica. You still have nude beaches in Jamaica, okay. yes, but not at this property. Yeah, well, don't feel the way past any new because I used the new beach. Okay, well, I, I, used, new beach. I used to work at one of those properties too. Okay, okay. So, All I, right, so this is just straight up decent kind of people. Yes, and um, we appeal to health and wellness as well. So, I realize that. Yes, I'm supposed not, to go get a, 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 a what do you call it? A, a back massage. And neck massage. Oh, right. gosh, man. I, I'm not going home tonight. <laughs> Does anybody know what lady on the tell I said I'm coming home tonight? I tell you that. I tell you down no, here. Yes, and we're situated. Shamara is trying to get me not to get the, the, the massage because she's getting very jealous. That lady was not dying. Yet. Really? Well, yeah. she shouldn't be because you know we we treat everyone equal. Of course. As much as you're 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 a well-known and yeah. famous individual, I mean we we mm. keep it equal here at Jewel Paradise School. So we we will give to you what we give to all of our guests yeah. from home and abroad. All right. What the capacity of this hotel? Because I, I like the room, them. You know, I want to tell you, I like the room, them. Okay, well, we have 225 rooms. Mm. 15 of those are junior suites. We have um, 100 rooms with walk-in showers. And um, we a have... 100 rooms. 100 Yes, with walk-in showers. And the others are um, jacuzzi tubs. You're serious? So... So, we never get a jacuzzi tub the last time there. Well, on your return trip, that's... I uh, know, I'm a return we'll upgrade, trip. Yes, we'll upgrade, <laughs> we'll upgrade your room for you. All right, so it, it almost like how much percentage full full and all like at the moment we are at seventy five percent. However, this is really the summer yeah. summer season yeah. and um, business at this time is is um, you have peaks and valleys. Um, yeah. On the weekends, we will see more of our Jamaicans coming in, and so the occupancy generally peaks. On the weekend and during the week, as it is now, okay. it's a little bit. Um, you so know, you have, quiet you have uh, like with quiet now. You have like local entertainment. Like we only do local entertainment. Oh, yeah? Yes, okay. authentic local entertainment. Like what you call authentic local entertainment. We have our cultural groups that come in and perform mm -hmm. for us. We have our Jamaica.
Mm. We have our local acrobats. You don't have alkaline of them people, you know. Not yet, but we ha we've had Romaine Virgo. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're still very current. All right, I don't want I don't want to leave me. I don't want to leave me. Right, I'm getting attached to you. Here. Um, well, as you from Chris Kiel. <laughs> All right, we're coming up to the special part draw. You know, listen up. Special part draw is up next. Um, so we just play a little thing until we hear the special part come up. The stream is past two o'clock here on the Stepping Razor, the Art of War. We want to mention that. That was your 3 p.m. special part draw. Congratulations to all of today's winners. Tune in late at 5 p.m. for another chance to win in top draw dollars. Pick two, pick three, pick four, and catch part draws. We're here talking to the general manager of Jewel Paradise Cove, and when I met her first, she said, Welcome to Paradise. And I was feeling so good because I thought that I was heading for hell. But I am in Paradise, and it's really looking like Paradise. So, you know, it's a Jamaica of geographically. Jamaica is one of the most beautiful countries you will ever find. And this is talking from an experienced traveler. Jamaica, when you look on the, the, the ambience, it's just, I don't know it's where I go on, but we need to get the thing together as a people and recognize the beauty that surrounds Jamaica. Okay, so as we say, we're talking about it. All right, so what is your involvement now with this Jubilee? The, the, the hotel involved with this Jubilee? We are one of the sponsors for the um, Emancipation Jubilee. We are proud sponsors. This is our fourth consecutive year. Oh, yeah? Yes, and um, we promote Brand Jamaica. And so we look for all the opportunities that there are to promote authentic Jamaican experiences. And um, we believe that um, that is what you get you know, when you go to the Civil Great House and um, that spectacular event really takes you back to the real Jamaican days when you used to drink chocolate tea oh, out of your enamel mug. Like when we just get a while ago. <laughs> oh gosh, why is it? Uh, thank you for... Uh, Miss uh, 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 oh, Seagas. Miss Seagas, bring it. Oh gosh, man. Miss Seagas. This, this look too new, don't have to drop it a couple of times. Well, I've got to drop it. No, man, you have a couple of chips on the handle there. Uh, no, man, you need to see the chip them for the back of the Believe you me. Thank you very much. Thank yes, you but, very much. but yes, we are all about what is authentic, what is unique about the island. And um, that's what you get when you stay at Jewel Paradise Cove, a real, true Jamaican experience. You experience the, the real, warm hospitality of our people, mm. which is what we hear about every day. It's not about. Um, how big or how new the hotel is. It's the way we make people feel when okay. they come here. It's the about staff, the feeling uh, you how get. Like how much people on the staff, yeah. When we're full, we have the staff. staff. Yes, yes. Because we want to make it a personalized type of experience. Yeah, want... You have 320 people working inside of that. Yes. Eh? Yes. What? So we we do support um, mm -hmm. the community and um, and, yeah. and and our people. Um, we employ only Jamaicans, and as you can see, I'm full bred Jamaican. So. Oh, I can't see that. I don't want to find, oh, a Jamaican look. I don't want to buy them talk. Oh, a Jamaican look. I don't know a Jamaican look. No idea, so. Unique. Eh? Yes, different. Okay. Special. Uh, why, when I go down, uh, um, what you was there? I'm going at some of them plaza. I see some people that look like you say, me Jamaican. I mean, I say, hey, be Jamaican. All right. Since you say that, so I don't know what Jamaican look like. Yes. Believe like you me. But it's nice. It's nice. I like the ambience. I like, I like. Yes. Everybody. And then the thing is, we, we offer so much by way of all inclusive. So it's not just food and drinks. Yes. The entertainment, entertainment is included. Yes. And we have nighttime something. entertainment. We Variety. Favorite lady of there, what is it, you know? Sports and entertainment. <laughs> Minister, welcome. How are you? All right. There are two ministers here. I can't kiss her from here. I said, I have a corona. All right, you. she shall do like a dog. <laughs> there are two ministers here, you know. Yeah. Babs the Grange and Shaheen Robinson. But not, you can't take the mic from us. <laughs> you know, this, I just can't take away the from the mic. No, but you can't take the mic. Wait for your turn, man. Yes, man. Let's try to have a, a, a gale moment with the lady here. You yeah. come disrespect the thing. 
Yeah. Just, no, you don't talk. It's it's girl power here, right? No, they, they, they yeah. me love the girl yeah. power, but yeah. the girl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 What it's you don't girl. realize is that we have taken over your program. <laughs> All right. And Shane is on the road to say hello as well. Welcome, Mr. Shane. Welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You need another mic for Shane, you know. You can't like I use back to mic. This is three the hard way. Oh gosh, man, I'm I'm outnumbered. And the best place. And the best place. And the best place. And the best place. And the best <laughs> we are enjoying it. Spirit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good we afternoon. talk after, you know. Of course. Of course. I don't want to come and steal. Like no, it. no. I was just trying to get involved with the hotel and, you know, yes. what is the hotel all about and thing. And I think it's involvement lovely. Involvement and the, yeah. Yes. And yeah. you look so relaxed. I am relaxed. I'm in paradise. She yes. just tell me. <laughs> there tell you me go. That I'm in paradise. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, we give thanks. That's it. Kim, since Miss Grange come much up with the thing we have here, so you know what I mean? Total disrespect, you know. Not at all. That's what them not states, at all. I don't know. Protocol dictates. Dictate. Protocol dictates that she come mash up now you're talking. <laughs> no, she don't mash up. She <laughs> enhance it. <laughs> enhance it, right. Right, right. All right. right. I have out no bad. I am admitting that I have out no bad. Okay, I'm really appreciative of your time. Yes. And as I said before, I will be back here. So I hope you want to put me down as a guest here. You're always welcome. I like how it's all inclusive and I carry no money in my pocket. No money in your pocket, yes. No, I'm not, I, yes, I'm not bringing no money, no credit card, nothing. Nothing, nothing, okay, okay. nothing. It's all provided here for you. All right, That thank you, and some more. Thank you so oh, much. Man, and look get forward. Get the will out of the will out of the will out of the That miss me, you know. <laughs> That's all I showed them you talk about. Featuring that, 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 and many more. <laughs> and I know all them artists, they're the private show, and many more. And some, some fest them, they're you know, and many more. You know that group there? No. They never perform down your head? No. Eh? Hey, you must get them down your man. <laughs> and many more. <laughs> so it's so like what you say, and all other things too. Other things you're going to provide. Beautiful. Exceeding expectations all the time. Oh, That's what gotcha. we do here. All right. Thank you very much. A pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very too. much. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Nice lady. Very nice lady. Um, the, she is the, the general manager, Jewel Paradise School, Beach Resort and Spa, Miss Barbara Burton. This is the stepping razor, the art of war. Yeah, the yeah we are here. Still being the, kept. Jewel, you, you're in the background listening to Joan Seagirls, heritage event consultant and, and past manager of yeah, civil heritage park. Has been with us since that event in 1997 and I wish to acknowledge the contribution of I should say Cabo or Andrea Williams and Miss Minion Phillips in this venture the show this year's production seeks to relive the bitterness of slavery before midnight and the joy of freedom after midnight to draw strength from the resilience of our African ancestors who fought reality and degradation of their own humanity. The grounds of Civil Heritage Park will be transformed into an atmosphere of an African village to depict the 19th century emancipation morning. The event will serve to capture the spirit of that 1838 day with the reading of the Emancipation Proclamation at midnight, jubilation, fun, and excitement will follow with lots of dancing, eating, and drinking. Traditional food will be on sale, such as ackee and saltfish, roast bread food, roast yam, dukunu, asham, and lots of other foods unique to the African culture. At 6 p.m., there will be JCDC gold medal John Kuna Group performing at the front entrance, adding to the cultural landscape with torches to encourage prospective patrons to attend. At 6 p.m. also, six to eight drumming groups will be strategically placed around the lawn. Patrons enter the driveway, the sound of drumming will fill the air. This energetic and entertaining award-winning groups include Kingston Drummers, Children of the Drums, John Kuna Bands, Maroon Groups, and Islington Cultural Groups. There will also be strong cultural performances from Manchanil Cultural Group and the spiritual Port Maran Kumina Group from St. Thomas. At 8 p.m., 
some dynamic national JCDC gold medal performers will take center stage. University singers and the Cary Folk singers will set the stage for the midnight proclamation with solemn tribute in music at 11.30. Half an hour will be dedicated to the solemn tribute to our ancestors with a candlelight ceremony. Ministers of government and other officials will each light a candle a sister. Immediately after the proclamation, there will be a somber wreath-laying ceremony and background singing, capturing the moment and allowing each person present to feel the involvement of the African culture. The Fab Five Band and other cultural entertainers and gospel artists will take center stage after midnight. Gospel will be highlighted this year, starting with REFM gospel disc jockey Big A, with some of Jamaica's top vocalists, such as the internationally acclaimed George Banton, the electrifying David McDermott, popularly known as Kukudu, and others. The production seeks to relieve the bitterness of slavery before midnight and joy of freedom after midnight to draw strength from the resilience of our African ancestors who fought relentlessly against the brutality and degradation of slavery. After the proclamation at midnight, the second segment of the celebration will kick off with some dynamic gold medal groups and other national and international performers who, through their repertoire, will unravel the history of the Jamaican music over the centuries. They will highlight the West African influences identified in our music in gospel, ska, rocksteady, and reggae. Traditional foods and items will be on sale. All night long, patrons will enjoy strong Jamaican chocolate tea free. This year, we have a new sponsor in the person of Mr. Richard McCarthy of Wellspring Investment Limited. All are encouraged yeah. to bring their inner mug. There will also be exciting giveaways for the oldest looking inner mug and best traditional outfit. African traditional outfit, should say. This is an event. There is no age limit. Not too young, not too old. Bring your cardboard and your chair. Bring your towel. Bring the sheet and the pillow. This is a family affair. No chair? Don't worry. We have a wonderful lawn. The most we will ask is that collect your own garbage. This is Emancipation Jubilee. This is your event. Catch the vibes. Yes. You are listening to, uh, you have been listening to Joan Sigears. She is a heritage event consultant with Jamaica Heritage Trust and past manager of Civil Heritage Park. She has just speaking. Um, we want to tell you that there's a lot of people here. When I say a lot, I mean, what them call them? Known politicians and members of Alright, we have in front of you, I you know, really want to talk to because the place kind of strikes me as looking so nice. Really, so nice. And him is the man who is responsible for the landscape. The landscape supervisor at Jewel Paradise. His name Andy Murray. Andy Murray, the one. Give him a microphone there, so Give him a microphone there. Because we can't leave out the money and have no interview. Yeah, man, yeah, good afternoon, Mount. How are you doing, man? Why, why may I tell you, sir? I'm, I'm very impressed. Well, yes, um, you know, hard work and dedication and the love for the job, you know. Yeah. That's basically what actually brings us across. So it's a long time you work, yeah? Well, I've been here since the hotel renovated um, two years and nine months ago now, um, you know. Yeah. I'm here from construction days, so. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So. We'll have to put in our best to it. All right, so let me ask you a question now. Is there any tree where you plant when nobody there before? Uh, everything is there before and then you just come and groom it up and clean it and then really? Well, I was here before, you know, but they start to go through prone, bring them down to to size where we can manage them. So yeah, actually, at yeah. least we can get the lush looking from it. Even this tree right here, so in front of you, I mean, it was like about, called about 100 feet in a year. The, the, one, the, the, the willow tree is a willow tree? No, willow tree is willow tree. Um, it's what I'm um, 
Which shot one are they at? That one there or that one there? No, the shot is one right over there. Oh, are you cut it long to size? Yes, we cut it long to size <laughs> so we can actually manage it. Okay, okay. No, I tell you, it, 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 it well kept. Trust me, it, it, it well kept. I'm really feel good for no say. You take pride in your work. Because people that look upon your work and say, Chow, I don't know how sweep up. It's not a sweep up. But it's more than that. Well, yes, it's definitely more than that. Yeah. It's definitely more than that. Um, you see, this work now, this work is about the art. Yes, it's an artistic it's expression. Artistic that's true, yeah, that. Because right now at the front of the property, um, there's a jewel stand is there. Mm. And it's plant itself definitely do make it. Eh? Yeah, so um, every other day, you go, go there. And, go through and prune it. Just as, like, just as a bar. Get water from? Well. Through water too much, please. Well, we use the water from the irrigation line. Oh, the water because you have waste water irrigation thing where you recycle. Definitely. So what we do, um, we have the interest into it. So basically, during the nights, mm. we leave a zone on. During the days when, when morning when we come to work, yeah. we turn, we turn another, another zone. Okay, okay. Because my 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 beauty is this, you know, so whenever time I guess pass on the property, yeah, them to the green lush. All right. Well, we'll give thanks still. So yeah, get good pay thing, I think. Well, you not worry about it. Well, it's not about the pay thing. But oh, you mean I don't worry about the pay? No, no, about, no, 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 you have no. You're not all that said that. And no. they went to go about it. Well, the work is the work. Most of the work is the work. It's all about the love of the work. Well, come on. You can't love work, love work, and you don't get paid for your work, you know. Well, we all know so we'll ex- exchange contribution. <laughs> 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 you want to go and like him nice. <laughs> you want to go and like him nice, no? Anyway, we don't get to your business now, you I like, me like how it look. Well, yeah, as I said before, it's all about have a real, real good team behind me. Yeah, and this will have nothing to do with the heritage thing, but through me, I look at the place and I in here some of them, and I say, wow, you know, the person who look about this place are really, you know, taking things serious. Well, you see, right now, what is it that we are doing? It's not about us as the department. Yeah. It's all about from my manager. Yeah. You understand? So we want to do it in the best possible way we can. Yeah. So how much, how much, how, how much one work? With you, how much one work with well, you? Well, nine persons and myself make ten. Eh? Yeah, that is nice, man. That is nice. Anyway, give thanks, Bridget. Give yeah, thanks. Yeah, all yeah. Of all of it. All of yeah, it. man. We're talking to Andy Morris, the landscape supervisor, drill Paradise Cove. I'm here to tell you, say, I'm so impressed with that I say, I have to talk to him. If you don't have nothing to do with the, the Jubilee celebration, but you know, they're there. We want to take a time signal and a break and come forward right now. Yes. We are live at Jewel Hotel Resort and Spa, St. Anne, bringing to you the, the, what we call the launch of the Jubilee, which is the Emancipation Day celebration. We want to show you now, Robinson, Robinson is on the podium there, she's a member of the Minister of Labor and Social Security, so let us hear what you're saying. More. We must encourage more of this sort of involvement of young people. Our culture, sometimes I think that it is slowly dying, and then I will go somewhere and I will see, I will get a ray of hope that there are persons who are still passing it on. Seville is one time of the year when we truly pass on a lot of what our ancestors left for us. But I believe, as I said before, that one time a year is not good enough. And I'm challenging my colleague, my friend, my sister, the minister, Olivia Babsy Grange, and I know that she will do more once uh, we have put it on the table that we want more to be done. I want this year to uh, be returned to what it used to be because in the last few years, I'm sure that everyone sitting here would agree that civil the, what was offered, the offerings had diminished and I'm chance this year, we know you have the capacity and the capability to put it back to that place where it once was and Minister, we're looking forward to a great jubilee you know, we said jubilee and we talk about free and all of that but we want to know in, in some people's minds, how many of them really think that they are free how many of them think that they have really escaped the bondages that they uh, that persons before them lived in a lot of them don't feel that way a lot of persons are enslaved because of their addresses a lot of persons are enslaved because of who their parents were I'm saying to us that as Jamaicans we have a chance to come together in a partnership all hands on deck and say that starting July 31st we are going to chart a new way 
forward. Once we celebrate the ancestors and we say, this is how we used to do it. Because you know what? July shows that when we are truly unified, when we are truly together, because a chain is as strong as its weakest link, and when we truly come together, we can achieve anything. That's how... That's how that slavery was abolished, because all hands were on deck. Not just a few people here and a few people there, but all hands were on deck. And if we come together and we put all hands on deck, I believe that we can all build a better Jamaica. And I think that each and every one of us here today, we are indeed striving to build a better Jamaica. I want to salute all the partners who have come on board. I want to thank them, and I want to use this opportunity to encourage even more corporate sponsors to come on board for a worthy cause, the civil function that happens every 31st of July. So ladies and gentlemen, let's see that how many of you can encourage even 10 persons to come with you and make it really a jubilee. Thank you and God bless you as we all support Jamaica. Because I am not sure. Minister, who are not talking now? Mr. Shaini Robinson. Member of Parliament for Nazi St. Anne, Minister of Labour, hear them talking about bringing back the Jubilee to where it was, where it once was. And we hope that they can achieve that, but I, I am feeling that um, the Minister of Culture can really help to bring that back, considering she has so much experience in, in that aspect of Jamaican cultural expression. You know, um, it, it's not every time you have a a ministress who actually is inside of the culture. Not only musically, but otherwise she's actually a part of that cultural expression of Jamaica that if what they are looking for is a, a rebirth or a rejuvenation of the, the, the emancipation celebration, I think she's the one who can really help to to push it where they want it. Um, here's an artist that will be on this festival. Kodru will be on this Jubilee Festival celebration um, coming up on the 31st of um, this month. Right into August, the Emancipation Day, we call it August Day. Um, we want to examine the next person here um, who we feel is a very important part of the whole thing considering so we, we are told that he's an archaeologist I don't meet most archaeologists in Jamaica you know I saw you can come over your phone you have an interview you archaeologist is that eh who is it is that the archaeologist who is it the wife well, okay Oh, I think was the archaeologist in Africa come give me. Where the archaeologist there? They're not about. All right. We <laughs> think are the archaeologist. <laughs> all right. We, 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 all right. Those who come to the archaeologist, but we have Stephen Davidson, director of marketing and public relations from part JCDC. So are you responsible for the music business? The, 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 what I'm talking about, about music then? Right. Don't call the festival music still? Yeah, man, it's Jamaica Festival Song Competition and all the emancipation and independence celebrations. So tell me something. First off, why, why it's so low key? From most about 10 years now, it's so low key. Well, I think a lot has changed in terms of the media landscape, and we depend a lot on the media to play mm -hmm. the songs. We still do the same thing in terms of producing the songs putting it out there, but I guess persons have different options, mm. you know, of music and outlets for entertainment, so we really depend on the media to push the songs, and we want to thank Irie mm. you know, for their support in helping us to push the festival movement and to push the well, make an so You feel says because no recognizable artist at least, when I look, I just, I just get a CD from Uno, right? Which is years now, I never get a CD from Uno. I want to have a man to go download it. I have a the internet, I say, it's a mad man, I'm a big, big DJ, if I go download it local Jamaica music of the internet. But you feel, say, it's because there's no recognizable artists involved in it. Why it not so excite the people and for go, go, go deal with it? 
I think it, because, because it started is a way in which when it started it's, that's the only way you know one of the main ways mm. that you could and any artist could get a bus yeah you know and so now we have there are different you know other talent competitions other song competitions that we have so quote unquote competition you know who might be more popular there are other outlets that they can go to get, you know, a bus, mm. so to speak, or that kind of development. But we still continue, we still try to on yeah. the competition. It's the longest song run competition in Jamaica. But, but, but all right. You say, oh, I didn't know festival art, festival song. Most of the artists, them, where you, you say, it's popular people who they on the charts every day and at the show. But as I said before, I don't recognize none of these artists. Actually, these artists are look boss. But you don't feel say it is more attractive if there's a, or maybe it is not attractive enough to draw the popular artists. Them maybe not should have asked one million US dollars as prize and say, oh, what, what should the popular artists every night? Well, that's I'll go that jump in that. I'll go that jump in that too. I mean that that takes partnership. That that partnership is key to what we do. So we you know we always invite our sponsors and corporate Jamaica to get on board mm. all of our programs and activities. And so you know it's still limited by the. Board. Yeah, we yeah. have to, you know, work with what we have. So we have to talk to the minister then. But we want corporate Jamaica support as well. Too. Oh, corporate Jamaica, yes, yeah, look to them, support it. We want them to support it as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So this year, actually, I got a CD that said before. This year, now you have ten finalists. Right. We have narrowed it down to the top ten. Okay. And and I have to name the top ten because it's not going to make no difference. But. Where you have to show them, really? Around the island? We, they went on a... Oh, they were a they, they, No, they went around the, the, for the road shows. You're and serious? actually, the national finals is this Saturday at Randy Williams. You're serious? Yeah, man, definitely. Are they so far gone? We're at the final... Because it's a year-long process, you know. We start... They don't get cold and out of no people In September, come. we open the entries from last year, September. Eh? We invite persons to enter. We we'll go through the different rounds. We we'll listen to the, their songs. and we we'll pick the semifinals. Then we went to the semi-final concert and we picked the top 10. Yeah. And then the top 10s, you know, go into the studio, finalize their tracks. Yeah, and yeah. then they go on the road and say, no, the one song. Mm. So Saturday we will pick the, the winner. The final. The final is the What Saturday is the first prize? The first prize is over half a million dollars in cash and prizes. No million for, again? For the, for the winner. No million again? <laughs> well, this is, this is what we have. All right, let me ask you though. All right. So the finals is this year. And next problem I have with it is that usually you don't hear a festival song or Christmas, you don't hear a festival song or blazer play, but festival done and you wonder who did win the festival and you wonder which tune. Oh, 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 them things go so. Well, listen, well, that's why we depend on you to play the song. Yeah, but if you play the song, and I, I mean, I don't know, something wrong. On, on, on the feature, something wrong. By the way, your feature, something wrong. Not that, that something is wrong. It's just the buy-in that we, that we need, you know, from all, yeah. from all the stakeholders. From the media. We really need the, so the if you say the media, media is not putting enough effort tonight, then they really popularize the thing and make the thing. You feel so? I mean, they, feel have, they, they have some part to play. And, of course, we, we are on social media as well. Too. We have to, you know, transfer mm -hmm. to that. So the videos are up there. The songs are there. Yeah. So persons, persons can purchase the CD. But and, and and the so CD forth. was out all the while? It has been out. How long yeah, ago? Man, it has been out. Couple of months now. Uh, last night, we yeah, get one. That's been out for a couple of months. We have said. I this just last say, no, him, uh, just somebody else be spending on me and say, tell him, so we're not getting none up to now. Long time. So we don't know. Well, I've got to talk to you, right? But me just, <laughs> no, but we don't know, right? Me just get a CD last <laughs> night and last week, we don't have a CD never did it. No, man, it has gone, it went out a long time that ago. That means there's something wrong with the post. It went out a long time ago. Yeah, I've got to talk to the person I delivered. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know, I know, Felix, so you. Tara, I don't Tara, you. Okay, I'm not going to know. No, but they, right. they have been out. So the GCDC is still the the main um, push, right? We are the right. the cultural agency, one of the main cultural agencies that have, leads the emancipation, yeah. the independent celebrations. Oh, so you farm on the show too? Yeah, man, definitely. So what, that's why we choose the one song early, so that yeah. song is really the anthem and the background mm -hmm. to the emancipation and independent celebration. So that is the song that people will know most yeah. of, of all the songs. We want that song. That song will push. drive. The celebrations right throughout. I'd have loved if we, just like what the man said, this must return to the, how it was. I'd have loved the festival song return to how it was. Not that you're going to have popular artists, but you're going to have a song that will last until the next song come out. Because people still play all bam bam in a party, you know. You remember, just that day when my boy I said, oh, 
This is island a boom. It's not yeah. island. Mm -hmm. And you put all tea for the island. <laughs> if you drop that in a session, now the place tear dog. Yeah. You know, but we don't know no festivals <laughs> are after that. We don't hear no festivals are at tear dog dance all. <laughs> really? Eh? Well, it's, it's a challenge that we're putting you to the song. All of you like you, bro. I look at you now, love alkaline and the man. Yeah, you know, should I. You should not get ready and say, I don't want to drop some of them festival songs, but they not play them. Because they're not going to say, they're not getting forward and them things. Yeah. Well, eh? you see, we have to be proud of what we have. Yeah, so it should not play on the dance hall. Yeah. yeah, we have to be proud of what we have. Who, who is the one who is responsible for the judging? You have still have Ibo and Campbell and them man there involved in it. Well, we have a panel of, yeah. you know, of persons that have adjudicators that we choose from. Yeah, know, from, from time to and time. And they sit down and... They go through, right, so... Yeah. You know, I don't know if you do it by them time, but you know, so they use some vote. Yes, there is a, there is still voting. Yeah, like national voting. Yeah, there, there is persons can still vote. There, oh, yeah. They, if they go onto our website, jcdc.gov.jm, you can listen to the song and vote for, and vote for your favorite song. And there's because there's a viewer's prize mm. that will be given at the finals on Saturday at Ronnie Williams. All right, so when when when, when at the finals at Ronnie Williams Center, it decided by the people, the, the person who get the loudest cheer as a group of. Um, that is that, or that is that. Oh, or, or, we have a panel of, of, of adjudicators, yeah. right? So they're looking for performance, yeah. the lyrics, the yeah. music, musicmanship, those kinds of things. They're looking, mm. they'll, they'll be looking. So what them look fine at the music? Tell me. It must say Jamaican coconut rum and water. And all. So <laughs> well, what we, what, we, what we look for is a, is a, what we call an anthem, so to speak, or a theme song, mm. you know, that really would rally the people around emancipation and independence, a song yeah. that would drive, yeah. you know, that kind of the celebrations for the, each year. You know that the biggest festival song ever in the history of Jamaica, they have nothing to do with festival. <laughs> you know this song that? Cherry O Baby. Cherry o Baby. It not yeah. said nothing about yeah. festival. Yeah. And it's one of the most, it's the biggest selling record ever in the history of 45 in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. That all Rolling Stones going to make it over, you know. Mm -hmm. You didn't know Rolling Stones yes. make it over? Yes. And it never said nothing about, but Lord, you know, so Cherry O Baby, you know. But you, you know not look for a song where I glorify like a uh, Cherry O Baby. It, we, I have to say something about it doesn't, it, can't does, can't it, does, it doesn't it doesn't we're just looking for a song you know that will drive the celebrations whatever mm. form it takes you know I know persons might have put maybe put festival in a box to say there must be a certain a song, song yeah. there must be a certain like, lyric about like a calypso flavor right. Right, exactly. we leave it open to, the, okay. to, to your creativity and yeah. say give us a song that will help us to drive, drive the, the festival the celebration yeah yeah. I don't really love to get that still seen. I don't love to get that all right. So you say you work in the how long you say I work at JCDC? I've been there three and a half years. Three and a half years. You think you're gonna be there next year? Yeah man, I'll be there. Well I will see you next year now because you are now. I go look for see which festival song win. I go I go go my yard and figure it out. I go figure out which I go win and start to play them. But you say it's this, it's this Saturday? It's this Saturday. Oh, well, by the time well, what's we... going to happen, we're going to okay. send you again the winning song. Yeah, and then we'll play the winning song. I'm going to challenge you yeah, to, play. to play it but all year like it. Well, <laughs> year no, no, I, I right. challenge you. And I'm going to listen. I listen no, to you. Yeah, no, you can't yeah, challenge me. Don't no. no, challenge me. You will lose. All right. But when we ask it all, yes, my um, next program is next week. Okay. By that time... I have to see the one song, right? The one will win. I will, I will see that I can get some push. Definitely. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. Give thanks, Bridget. All right. Yeah, man. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Steve, man. Steve look like a renaissance man, you know. <laughs> a renaissance man. Steve Davidson. Yes. Director of marketing and public relations. A JCDC responsible for the outcome of the festival song competition. I don't know what them call it. Festival song competition again. We can't find the archaeologists now. We now find the archaeologists. We still find the archaeologists. All right. So me and I try to find the archaeologists. Make could play this song here by Ifad. Brand new song. Ifad. River. The art of war. We want to make you know that the hour between four and five is sponsored by JP Farms. JP Farms. This is what this hour is all about. JP Farms. Okay. So... The minister is supposed to speak. I have two speak, two minister. Which other minister? No, Babsy alone left one. Yeah, all right. Minister Babsy Grange is left to speak. Meanwhile, we waited on the minister. We want to play 
Chelisa. And she went out now. Okay, she went out now. So I'm to her. Bob the Grange, Minister of Culture, is going to speak at this moment. So I'm going hear tune into what is going to happen there. All right. Everybody be highway when they listen to highway Everybody love highway yeah, we want to tell you that the minister is at the podium. It's about the game. Yes. Because normally, they welcome the Custos and his wife. And like, she doesn't have a Christian name, right? So, I want to turn it around. Especially since I know Jubilee is going to be her birthday. And her special Jubilee. Your birthday and her special jubilee. So I'm not going to say I'm not going to say united and free. I'm going to say united and what a jubilee. <laughs> of course, I have to acknowledge my sister, Honorable Shaheen Robinson, who we work very closely together. And together, we are going to do great things for culture in the parish of St. Anne. <laughs> Acting Secretary Manager, uh, Mrs. Claudia Carter, thank you for the message you read. I can say that you represented your council very well. Now, my longtime friend is here, and I must acknowledge him, yeah. Councillor Dallas Dickinson. Oh, yeah. My longtime good friend, and I'm happy to see you here today. Mr. McCarthy, they have a saying, you know, short man bossy. <laughs> Especially when him is British and Jamaican. And when I, I saw you walk up here, because I wasn't sure if you were present, I saw your name on the program, but I wasn't sure if you were here. And when you walked up and you started speaking, I said, boy, that is a man I want to have a continued relationship with for a very long time. And we're going to have a talk after this, because next we celebrate Jamaica 55. And so everything we do is going to be bigger and better. Oh, yes. And so we're going to have a discussion how you're going to make your sponsorship bigger and better for the Jubilee. <laughs> now I'm in Paradise and I really want to thank Jewel Paradise Cove and of course Miss Barbara Burton for her presentation here and to thank you so much and I look forward to your continued sponsorship next year. I can guarantee that. Thank you so much. You, you all heard that commitment. Oh, yes. Right? I didn't lead her into it, you know. She volunteered. My senior advisor on culture and major events, Mr. Lenford Salmon, is sitting here. And I just want to acknowledge his presence. You're going to be seeing a lot of him. Because he's going to be the man that's spearheading the activities in the parish. So, Lenny, you, you better know his face from television. He plays the politician in um, in Royal Palm, but he certainly didn't copy me, right? So I tell him he mustn't play a politician anymore because we're not like that, right? Of course, Doric Gray is here, archaeologist, and um, special projects. Doric, where are you? Doric Gray. Now, that gentleman is the man who will go underwater, one of the best divers in Jamaica, or underground to find the artifacts that reflect our heritage. Very important man. And Mr. Stephen Davidson, Director of Marketing, JCDC, Mr. Davidson, over there, and the JCDC will be very much a part of organizing this event. Media, media friends, 
want to acknowledge the special role that you're playing, but I have to say something here. The parish of St. Anne is rich in culture. It gave us Marcus Garvey, our national hero who influenced the world and ensured that black people were very proud of their heritage. And he told us that as Jamaicans, we will astonish the world. And we did. The fastest man and woman in the world. And so many other things. And then the parish also has given us Bob Marley, a musical icon that we have given the world. The parish also gave us Burning Spear, who took on Christopher Columbus and made reference, he challenged the Christopher Columbus claim of discovering Jamaica. And I must say, it gave us the biggest station in the world, Irie. I was so proud of Irie when um, I went to Ivory Coast, led a delegation of 64 persons. <laughs> team and in fact Irie was able to link up with the Zion radio station which was just launched in the Ivory Coast link with Irie in Jamaica and carried the President of the United States President Obama live from Jamaica when he visited Jamaica to the people of Ivory Coast and that to me was a great achievement Now, if I continue, my, this will be longer than my speech, so I'll get into my presentation. The Jamaica National Heritage Trust is once again celebration celebrations, emanci emancipation jubilee at the Civil Heritage Park, and this is the 19th time. This is the time of year when we reflect on the lives of our African ancestors, their struggles and their pain, but more so their resilience and sense of community in the face of adversi adversi adverse adversity. It is this resilience and resolve to always seek better, no matter what, that has given meaning to the colors of our national flag, the black, green, and gold. Black depicts the strength and creativity of the people. Gold, the natural wealth and beauty of sunlight and green hope and the agricultural produce that we can boast. Seville is significant, ladies and gentlemen, not only know as the meeting of the four worlds, the Tainos, the Spanish, the Africans, and the English, but is a significant space in which symbolically we have shown that the tide has proverbially turned and that as Jamaicans, we can assume our rightful place in a society that we have built for ourselves and within which we can choose our own political representation. Adult suffrage was not a gift, but a right that our forefathers fought for. Emancipation Jubilee celebrations encapsulate these very important political milestones. Concerning the origins of this very significant cultural event, I'm informed by the archaeologist of the JNHT at Seville that they excavated and found two slave villages dated between 1670 to 1880. Not only did they find the slave villages, but they also found the buried remains of four Africans who lived and died in enslavement right here in this garden parish of St. Anne on the civil estate. These persons, including an 18-year-old girl who the archaeologists call Crystal, were given a traditional African-Jamaican reburial at the front of the Great House in 1997. Now, I want to pause here to tell you that the last time I was at Seville as minister, 
I saw this lady, and I refer to her as a brother, running breathlessly, cold sweat. Miss Grange, Miss Grange, I said, what happened to you? She said, you know that I was using the bathroom. And the bathroom, the bathroom that I was using was in an area that was locked off because we are renovating the place. So this section is not open to the public. But because I wanted to use the bathroom, I got the key and I went in that section. And I'm in there and I hear somebody say, hurry up. <laughs> so I said to the person, what do you mean hurry up? What are you doing in here? And the person said to her, you're using my bathroom. She says, no, 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 no. This place is locked off to the public. So will you please leave? I am coming in. You are in my space. She says she frightened so till. She run out of the washroom. She don't see a soul yet, you know. But somebody was telling her that she was in her space and she should please get out of there. So, if you want to come and have certain conversations, please don't miss the 31st of July. This afternoon, we are here to launch an event that celebrates our ancestors' freedom. Freedom from enslavement, which was proclaimed on August 1, 1834. And that was a major turning point, not only in the lives of the enslaved Africans, but also a turning point in the entire socio-economic. So as we gather here to begin this year's celebration of their lives, I ask that you, each and every one here, reflect on these things in the days leading up to the event on July 31. I'm advised that the show this year will be an even, be an even, or uh, will be of a greater and higher quality than in previous years, as the JNHD seeks to redefine the Emancipation Jubilee product to create its own distinctive flavor of being the only event of its kind. The production team has assured me that the high quality performances will be complemented with the traditional Jamaican foods, of course, Dukuna, Blue Draws, Asham, Greater Cake, Chicken Rondon, and lots of other delights. I want you all not to forget to carry your enamel mug for the good old Jamaican chocolate tea. This year we have a new, I understand we have a new chocolate tea sponsor. And this is where Mr. McCarthy comes in. Mr. McCarthy, we're going to make a special mug for you. Right? And we're going to ensure that your mug is always full with the chocolate tea. I'm particularly pleased about the ongoing efforts to promote this event to our visitors, irrespective of their ethnic origins. The research has shown that Tourists, wherever they go, have this great yearning to taste, to feel, to touch, to see the indigenous culture. And it doesn't come better than Jubilee. Now, a comment about the civil, civil great house. It is currently in need of repairs due to lack of maintenance over the past few years. Now, under this administration, the Board of Trustees has already indicated its intention to recommence the maintenance program for all sites owned or leased by the JNHT. And so, the Seville Great House will be the first, very first, on the list. We're also going to resuscitate more than the physical structure. We are going to place the civil great house at the center of cultural activities of the parish. A 
at the center of the north coast, stretching from St. Mary through to St. Anne and onwards to Trelawney. You can see daily tours and lots of cultural events at the Great House. So, Minister, you can be assured, rest assured, that the activities we're going to, you know, and sometimes other people say them turn it up. That this is going to be the real turn up situation. <laughs> and so, all that is left for me to do is to declare that the 19th staging of the Civil Emancipation Jubilee is today officially launched, and I look forward to seeing all of you at the event. Thank you so much. Yes, we just um, been listening to the main address by the Honorable Olivia Grange, MP, Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment, and Sport. I spoke about trying to get um, Minister Grange mo uh, more I would like sponsors to you this on board I to do this thing. Happy. And I can die tonight. We also because I was given this all right, we, we still have of speaker. welcoming you to the podium. And that was part of my um <laughs> Yes, um we 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 here are talking about uh bringing back the the Jubilee as it was representing the what I'm called old time Jamaica I still trying to find that African element tonight and not the African retentive element. I'm still trying to to, to to feel that when they say bring it back and and include Africa in it. What part of it, what part of the African element will be there? Or is it continuing the tradition of, as them say, blue draws and, you know, coming and run down and all these things and chocolate tea in a cup that is Jamaican that is what the Africans develop on the plantation we really want to understand the African part of it, that the African meaning before we came here as Africans and then turned into slaves that is a part of it that I am interested in, you know we all know about the Dukuno and the, the Rondong and the cup of tea and the chicken and fried chicken and jerk chicken and everything. But the African element is, is, is what really I personally am concerned with. When I guess go back to how it was, meaning that there will be more chocolate tea and more of the, the Jamaican expression, you know. Okay, so we have the drummers them here. We have a time signal. So we're going to take a time signal and a break and come forward. We are here still, Stepping Razor, live from Jewel Paradise Cove Beach Resort and Spa, Runaway Bay, St. Anne. This is the media launch of the 19th staging of Emancipation Jubilee right here in St. Anne at Civil Great House. We must remind you that this hour between 4 and 5, is sponsored by JP Farms. JP Farms. Okay, so Miss Green just finished speaking. We I think we we, we would like to get our interview with her still since we're there outside yeah, so yes, you know, um we we find it very interesting as I was talking about the the African the African retentive element at, at least that is my opinion. The African retentive element seem to be what the Africans create here because of slavery. You know, we had to survive on the plantation and we did some things on the plantation that is unique to what the ancestors did here as slaves on the plantation. I, will, I would hope that the, the, the organizer would research 
the African elements before slavery and kind of intertwine it into the, the celebration that people old and young, not only young people, but old people also, who don't have an idea of how Africans live and express themselves and in the land of Africa would get a, a real kind of, just a little bird view of that aspect of it. Because we find that we spend too much time on slavery, as if our history start there so. And then we have what is called the, 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 the way of life of the Africans on the plantation. And sometimes the way of life on the African plantation is totally different from what we see developed now as Jamaican cultural expression. So that also needs to be examined also. The, the cultural expressions of Africans on the plantation it is a very significant and important aspect of how the Africans survived the traumatic experiences that was, you know, placed upon them because of the slavery attitude. So, we're going to deal with some music, and then we want to talk to the, the Honorable um, Bobsy Grange. We want to speak to her. Because, you know, so this is the last hour. We want to remind you that this last hour by JP Farms. So, we're going to go back to a break. And music news coming up. So, Time signal and break and music news. All right. Respond to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No, I don't want to be political. No, we don't want political. But I I have to tell you some realities. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Over the last 25, Mm -hmm. between 25, 28 years, right? We've been government four years. Yeah. Four years. So in a twenty five years in our government for four years. years. Well wanna do something wrong, man. Well, you know. <laughs> I you. Yeah, I do something wrong. So yeah. what you have to recognize is yeah. that efforts that may have been made by administration mm. did not get a chance to come to fruition. Yes. When I was the minister, the last time I was minister, mm-hmm. I'd gotten to the point where we had a design, we had a partner. Who was prepared to spend the money to build, build to build a proper that right yes. and it would have been a public private a public sector private yes. partnership yeah. well we lost the government yes what i will say to you now is this jamaica 50 some of the things that we had proposed to do would have been some legacy projects yes so one would have been the performing arts center in Kingston. Uh, Another would have been a performing arts center in Portmore because there is a property yes, that is there. Of course. That can be converted. Yes. And it would have been put under the management of uh, the JCDC. Sitting there. So we, we celebrate Jamaica 55 next year. And that is back on the list. And what I can assure you is that we're going to move much faster on things. But what you call, call fast? Because you tell me most old and now, and then me know, say, you was running up in age, too. Yeah. I mean, you don't look that way, but you run up in age. Well, that is why... And there's a possibility that next year come, you know, soon in a power no. again, and they were going back to square one. No, so, no, 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 no. It's not going to happen. That's stretching it. <laughs> <laughs> Muta, that's stretching it. All right. Minimum of four years, and you okay. don't have it don't have to be four years. Yeah, you but a minimum, right. a minimum. But yeah. no, you don't have to call election. You at least have five yeah, years. Yeah, but what can you not do? What do the center that I talk about now... It not sound like it took a work in the first four years. I no. won't what, about. what you will find is that similar, as you said, we do sports things, similar yes. to the sports museum yes. um, being now the preliminary work is yes. funded. Preliminary work for the Jamaica Music Museum is now funded. No, but not about the museum, no, you know. The museum is a different thing, and, you know. No, but the Music Museum and the Performing Arts Center going to be in one? is going to be one package yeah. one package and so we have started the work in putting forward the plans yes for identify the place identify the place you know yeah. the location for the concert hall or performing arts center was yeah. identified from mr Sago's prime minister yes? yeah that but is what why happened? 
That is why the Bob Marley statue is yeah. where it is. Yeah, but what happened? Why it never right. come to well, develop? I, again. Or you lose again? Yeah, you so, know. So, uh, so, but but well, what motor? I too much lose business. I go and ride a bag. Believe you, believe you. Be, you can't tell the whole people lose business. You know. I better go to a to a cash pot. Believe you, be. But like me, I go charge the chat pot and politician. More people, eh? more people lose cash pot than win. But that, that me I say, but it come right now. We could have more charge. Talk about now. Not not the politician. Because I saw that go happen. So on a gun, and then somebody forget bullet and do something like that. And a pure sports center all over Jamaica. Yeah, I but, mean, well, how, how much sports center we can have, so? Motor. Let's put it this way. Yeah. We're moving in a positive way now. And you will see things happening. For example, I must congratulate you. On what? I must congratulate you on the fact that you and Kabu yeah. are now members of the Reparations Commission. Yeah, but that now was still made it. I'm still at that boat. No, 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 he will tell you. You know, say so one you time you go, my mother, you call me. And you, me, you, me, you, you call me and I say, Mota, I know you forgot to the China people. Them. But come, let me should I go to the China people. Them. Go talk about the music center. We call them build Confucius Center, Hope Garden. We see them build the wickedest highway in the Caribbean. So, me don't know. Me, me should I talk to them. What do you think? Tell. No, you won't need to talk to them. You will talk to them. You talk to them. Well, well, like likes you talk to them. <laughs> Like I saw, we have to go do it. We have to go learn Chinese language and talk to them in a Philip language. I said, Look here, we need a good center for play the music like we don't go foreign. Because you know, you know, as a person, you're in the thing like long time, say, anytime we got foreign, the places where we play now, the Jamaican people don't believe so reggae music going at them places. That's right. All That's right, right, listen up. Top Jar Dollars, pick two, pick three, pick four, cash pot, drive time, jars up next. Vicatan 2, iron and vitamin tonic, strength to do a ton of things. Okay, we are here with the minister, Babsy, Babsy, so we must can't call her Babsy. So we are call her Babsy. I feel more comfortable as a Babsy. Very comfortable as a Babsy. All right. So I don't want to labor this point, China Babsy, but. What do you <laughs> use the word labor? You see, no, it's like the guys, they're far enough to go by the rainbow color, and nobody know how to look on the rainbow again. It's like a man who had drawn down the rainbow to that sky, you know what? All right. You see, the time thing mm-hmm. is, is, is who over the years, toil and labor, you know, them sweat and agony to put this music out there. Would I like to say a reaping of that? benefit. I mean, know some man make money and think, but the idea of Jamaica giving the, the world this music and other genre, because last week we spent, we, 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 it's 50 years of Rocksteady, mm-hmm. we are celebrate, we we'll have Ska, predated, and we have Mentor too, mm-hmm. and now we have dancehall music. But, as, as I said before, you who know that when we as artists go, the places that we go play now, Jamaican people can't even imagine, say, Dr. Rasta going to them place there, go play music. You understand? Mm-hmm. But Jamaica, I mean, Bobsy, really. No, Muta, yeah. you're right. Um, it's long overdue. We need a proper concert facility. A proper coming art center. And um, I recognize that. And as you say, you're getting old, me getting old. Yes. And we want to realize that. Before. Before. We get we old. Go. I mean... Yeah. No one of us can go tomorrow. Yeah. But at least, for now, we feel so we might be around for a little longer. Yeah. And we want to realize it in our lifetime. Yes. And I'm committed to that. Even if it's not finished. Yeah, but we want to the black men. We want to the black men go up. Yeah. We must get it started. Yeah. So I'm committed and you to feel that. And you feel say you can access finance. Well, as I said, the China people, they will give it. I know that. I don't have a kind of relationship with China nowadays. The two government, them. them well, you know. Draw you know, money out of the China people. Well, then. let's put it this way. We were able to bring them. Yeah, on board. On board. <laughs> do what you're going to say. <laughs> do what you're going to say. Do what you're going to say. We were able yeah. to bring them on board. So yeah. that is something that we... And there are other other possibilities. Yes, yes. I mean, I can't... You can't and go to the EU again. Uh, you can't go to the EU again. <laughs> the brick, the brick out with the key there. I've only got a problem at all. So, no, but but seriously, no. 
I mean, really, would I really like to see it? Yeah. Because all of the stadiums that we mean in Jamaica, and most of the music play there, including yes. the sports center yes. of a um, stadium there. So, I mean, mm-hmm. more music play there. So, and then you have a place next to one of them called, um, right beside the stadium, park, car park there, with, with session keeping and all. Mascam. The people in Pampay Village are complaining. Yes, yes. You know, they are complaining, say, what kind of boogo, 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 boogo business are we them up and things. So, you really want a place where it can go on where you're inside you know yes. you're not no outside yes. because so we used to it you know mm-hmm. you're coming and i pay your ticket and you know you're going to say nobody know in there when you go in there you the hear the big full, lies, like, yeah, yeah, the big inside song. so yes that, 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 i don't know i mean well it's you? well motor and that i can control yeah what happens yes i'm committed to that this present administration is committed to that and we will make every effort for you to see it in your lifetime. But, 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 but Babs, you know, so, um, a thousand of people are listening to you as well. Yes. And you know, say, me not go drop, me, me, me not go push my tongue in my mouth and like me not talk, you know. Because if Babs is so young, so, and tell me what she'll tell me, you know. And I'll one year down the line, me not even say, me not hear Babs tell me, say, whoa, I'm feeling glad to report that. But one of the first here. things I said, yeah. I became minister this time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you saw it in the papers, but that I'm committed to ensuring that we have a center, a center, a concert hall, a yeah. performing arts center. We can't hold like our three, four thousand people. That's in right. There. I, mean, I, I did about say that. Like a theater around yeah. the six hundred people. In I there. did say that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You deserve the cousin then if we not say not to go ahead. <laughs> well, let's put it this way: if you yeah. don't say anything, go on. I will tell you why. You see, you know, excuse again. That's why we don't like to talk to politicians, you know, you see? No, I'm not making... We don't realize why we don't like to talk to politicians because you hear the excuse already, the excuse every day, they already to know. No, The excuse they will cover it, they are excuse. No, 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 It's not an excuse. It's what? I'll tell you why. Yes. I won't give you an excuse. But you're going to blame the other people there. Not necessarily. Most of the time, I'll have to do. No, man. Yeah, but You notice I don't blame nobody? Yet, not yet. You just come in there. I'm going to 100 days in there. You ever hear me blame anybody about anything? I don't really listen to the word I say. I believe you. I don't know if any time it's a third go around. It's not because I go out, but everybody no. say, Well, I'm out of your own people, but it's not. I'm distant and I'm not like. You know, but so, Mota, mm. serious thing. Mm. It can't be only that the minister, the politicians perform, you know. Mm. It's going to take the music sector as well. Yeah, but it's the going music take sector. Everybody, we have to be on board. We have to do this thing together. But me, like, why is I crying at the wilderness? Well, we, there, are some things, well, Mojo, there are some things that I'm going to reach out to you to do. But I'm, I, I'm there, you know. And you, there. I know you're willing because yeah, so ma'am, far, yeah, yes. And so I think I may have a more effective way of communicating. Yes, because them the say industry. me terrible. Me terrible. Them say me terrible. Me too radical. One of your friends them tell me say me too radical. Them, why, Mojo, I love what you're saying about you too radical. But you know, I've never said you're too radical. <laughs> Me I happen. embrace your radicalism. <laughs> All right, let us not go into that, you know. Let us not go into that. Believe you, we are not going to that. I may have a history for a long time. We are not right. going to that. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so now, within these four years, within these four years of your tenure now, you will see something. We're going to see something happen as yes. it relates to a concert hall to right. present the music. That's right. People of Jamaica, on the ear the honorable. Babsy Green on this day, yeah. That she we're gonna make sure say if it's evil, a black go up. And you know something, Mota, mm. it will be a partnership for prosperity. You see, then now we are used. We are you slow you know. You know, you know so you get me free you now. You get me free you now. You may attack nice, but I go bring in this prosperity thing for me. I know. You know. I may attack very nice. But it nice. must be prosperity if, you, if we get the concert on. Yeah, but you see, it's like all the people are like the rainbow color again. The prosperity <laughs> thing come like a same thing. It's like a label now where we didn't love the rainbow and everybody has to say, hey, hey God, move that rainbow to the sky. You know, that, you know, you understand? So the prosperity is a nice talk, slogan and thing, but Action speak louder than word. You understand? Mm-hmm. And it's that we really, really like it. So well, you will see it. May I appreciate your, your cultural uh, confidence that you come from so far. I, I have no doubt of you being a, a good culture minister. You understand? I, I tell everybody that, say, as a matter of fact, you unsilly so long, 
if Kabu never agree with me, Dean, <laughs> we can't Kabu else call it. Hey, I'm not talking too long in the house. <laughs> so, you know, say, the thing's gone up. Yeah. But know? I want to touch on something else here, Moto. Mm. Um, you know, we have this project which was supposed to be a Jamaica 50 project. They yeah. boiled home, Marcus Gaffey boiled home. Okay. And it was put on pause. Um, of course, I am now going to ensure that it happens. Yeah. But the interesting thing about it, the property um, was is to be declared yeah. and was compulsory acquired by the National Land Agency. Mm-hmm. But between the time that I admitted office and now, what I have discovered is that although the property, the action was taken and it was compulsory acquired, the occupants mm-hmm. were able to get a title for the property. Whereas before there was no title, yeah. there was no owner. And when government do compulsory acquisition, funds are put in escrow yeah. until such time. And so on one hand, the National Land Agency took that action. And on the other hand, LAM, which is also a part of the same entity, yeah. went ahead and gave the occupants title for the land as if they are owners. Mm. No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. But that's, that's conflicting. So that has created a little a little concern. Animosity. And a little it, it, it may create some delay. Yeah. But I don't intend for it to delay stop us from to moving yeah. or delay to any level. Do something about the occupants now. We can, we can, for example, since the property was compulsory acquired, yeah. we can evict the occupants. Okay. We can treat the first action, which yeah. was the compulsory acquisition, as negating yeah. the other action where they acquired title for the land. Mm. But we don't want, we don't want to create a controversy. What we want to do is to get their cooperation. Yeah and assist them in being relocated so we can get the property developed yes. we have the funding, we have the this. design and all of that and we want to get it done and certainly we want to have it completed within the next Good. year okay so in closing now one little dig they get thing as you know mm-hmm. I still have threatened the Brazil Olympics say them going to drop bomb in there you hear about it? You never hear about it. No. Yeah, the ISIL man, them are... Mm-hmm. Them are planning to do something. And, they, and the sick V is a concern. That idea when Ebola was a concern, Jamaica jump on it and I tell we say we don't go to Africa. We go to Africa. You go to Africa too. Mm-hmm. We should have charged you too because you, you, you go against the government at the time and go to Africa when until you don't go. But, but we got all the necessary... Of course, and uh, Guinea, yes. Guinea, we see Guinea people over there, we weren't supposed to over there, I can't wear that here from here, so, but what do you think? You think, say, Jamaican, as a sports minister, should I really look into it, if it's really safe for our at least reach, reach a Brazil? Well, as far as the health issue, um, we depend on the Ministry of Health and the JOA to advise <laughs> us. Advise you. And they have kept in touch. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have been advised mm-hmm. that uh, there is no need to, to fear. To fear. Well, I'm to the ISIL part right now. Uh, <laughs> anywhere you go, <laughs> yeah. there are all kind of uh, possibilities. Well, <laughs> I, go, I go to Turkey and there are people that tell me, say, Muta, you're a madman. You yeah. go to Turkey. I'm going to go down there. I'm two months after me, you're going to blow yeah, the plate. Yeah. Anyway, we give thanks. Thank you. We give Muta. thanks, Babsy, if you really take the time. And, 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 and say what you say. So, you know, yes. so I'm going to listen keenly for here if any black are by and if any money designate to do this thing, you know. Because trust me, man, me, me, me feel it in myself, knowing where we do and so on, where we come here. So, we don't see the respect you. We have so a Peter. responsibility yeah. to ensure that it happens. All right, man. And I want to thank you and Kabo for agreeing to sit on the reparations. Ah, yeah, definitely. Of course. Right? Yes. I look forward. It's a great, yes. a, a, a very impressive list yes. of persons. And I expect great things to come out of it. Ah, yeah, the last time you try to put me upon it, somebody say, What mood? No, so we don't want it. But I'm talk is who's still. But you know it's who. Anyway, give thanks. Okay. Give thanks. Thank you. Bless yes. you. Yes. All right. Uh, Stepping Razor. The art of war. On the run up here. Yeah.
believe you me, it was a, a day of days. It's the first, it's the first ever do a program like this, you know. Yeah, where me just have peer interview and me never get to play no music, really. Trust me, we never get to play no music, but we give thanks for <clears throat> Tracy when I left my side at all. Paper like worries. I tell you, the first time I get so much paper. Paper like paper, man. She give me paper till the paper them all get mixed up. All paper when I have nothing for the check. <laughs> I tell you. We I tell you. And where you get so much paper from? IRF must be broke, you know. They must have a lot of money. The amount of paper where you bring out IRF come here. I want to bet them. They, 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 they may not say you bring so much of paper come out here. Eh? Why have you ever seen so much paper from a producer in mean, life to write it? Why you love Tony? Not doing anything for you come here, but why you love Tony still? For not doing anything. We give thanks. Why you love Shamara? Shamara, which part Shamara? Shamara, the behind, she's not the behind me. Anyway. Why you love Neil in the studio? Hey, Neil in the studio. Oh, you know. You give me a bad information the other day about that thing in the studio, you know. After me bring my things last night, I plug in. We used to buy things that are compatible to it. I'm going to tell my friend that I want to go be about to, you know, deal. You know, know about computer, man. All right. So, we're up on the upside. Stepping, razor. The art of war. Yeah, man, we're not closing up vibes, and you know. We want to thank Nicholas Evans, Anton Roberts, Ricardo Powell, Glendon Murdoch, Tracy and Morris, Shamara Preston, DJ Neil, Tony and Lindo, Cabo Mahateru, Alicia. All of those were the people who is responsible for having the stepping razor outside broadcast, right at drill. Give thanks to the moment, give thanks to the time, give thanks to the energy. As you say, this is the anniversary, them say, the 19th anniversary of the Jubilee in Seville, 31st of August, right into August 1st, which is Emancipation Day. It's a holiday. And police not going to lock off that, so you can come one o'clock in the night. <laughs> you understand? I believe you be. So you we are saying now, we like the place, we love how the place look, and we give thanks. So we want to go out with this junior, you know. Yeah, we want to go out with this junior. <laughs> 